Hi there and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean and today we're going to be looking at a UK brand with a UK made and affordable saw. As I said, we're looking at a UK branded saw today, and this is one that I paid for. I bought off Amazon. I didn't get any discount or anything like that on. It was £66, so let's get that out of the way right out the front. So it's going to be a bit more than your kind of your, your Stanleys and your, your Spear and Jacksons and all that sort of stuff. However, the difference in this one is what goes on up here, and that's the fact that it's made in Britain. Let me tell you a little bit more. So what's the big deal with being made in Britain? Well, first of all, this is an industry that um, it's particularly in Sheffield, UK, started off so many saw companies as well as other companies that dealt with metal purely because Sheffield Steel was literally the best you could get for a very, very long time, for many, many years. Um, it was the hub of steel production because of things like waterways and all that back in the olden days, um, but also the quality of the forging that they did was known worldwide to be something that was quite spectacular. So Sheffield steel was used for things like cutlery, it was used for tooling, it was used for all sorts and um, would go across the world. Now this company is a company called Footprint. Now they, have, they are based in Sheffield. They also forge their own stuff, mostly, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but this saw was all forged in the UK and made in the UK. And and um, for being the price that it is for £66, I'm quite impressed with it. Let me show you about this because if you're like me and watch YouTube a lot, you would be mistaken for thinking, well, the, the, the only saw you really want to be going for is like a Veritas or something like that. Let me show you a little bit more about this one. And the next video is going to be talking about more expensive saws and the real posh stuff that is also UK made that you can get over here. Let's get into this one though. This is the box that it comes in, nothing fancy, but it does highlight the fact that it's made in Sheffield, brass back for rigidity and balance, precision sharpened and set teeth, two-tone beechwood handled, hardened and tempered spring steel, 20 teeth per inch, and it's got a pattern number of 246. But the fact that it's got the made in the UK thing, it shows that it's not just assembled in the UK, it's actually made in here. And as it says up in here, it's made in Sheffield. Okay, so this is the footprint saw. It's got all the information on the uh, on the blade there. It's an eight inch saw, 20 TPI, fully balanced, hardened and tempered spring steel. Uh, footprint made in Sheffield, England. And yeah, I mean, I think it looks like a very, very pretty saw. Now then, the way they've saved money on here is these are brass plated. So if you try and clean these up too much, then they, uh, they may wear through. The brass on the back is unfinished and it's somewhat rough to the touch, but that's something that if you wanted to polish it up, you certainly could do without too much of a bother. On the other side there, we haven't got any medallions or anything like that to be to worry about. And we've got this two-tone beechwood handle. Now the handle, in my opinion, is it's a it's a very generic shape, as you would imagine it will be, because um, you know it's got to appeal to a lot of people. But like I've done in a previous video, what I might do at some point is give this a little bit of a reshaping just to make it a little bit more comfortable in my hand. It's not bad as it is, but uh, uh, yeah, it might just be made a little bit more comfortable. Have this the, the 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 hole come back a little bit further here for my for my uh, sort of little finger to sit in a little bit more comfortably. Maybe take away some of the the the, the angle going on here. Some of those sort of bits and bobs, but certainly nothing drastic. Now then, when it comes to the handle, it is a full handle and not a pistol grip. I must prefer, must say that with a dovetail saw, I do prefer the aesthetics of a pistol grip. But the benefits of having this over a gent saw. And for those that don't know, this is a gent saw. It's got the kind of like the chisel handle going on. The benefits for this is you've got a way of registration. So when you're sawing, if you're not straight, you're going to feel that going off one way or the other. So your muscle memory is going to be able to remember, OK, that is sawing straight down. Whereas with this, it's a lot more difficult to do that because the whole thing can obviously spin in your hand. Now, Rob Cosman has a thing where he get where the 
the heel of his thumb is, he kind of sands this away to make a, an angled piece. So it helps with registration. But especially if you're starting off, I think that having something like this really does help. How does it cut though? Well, I've got a little bit of softwood going on here and I've got a little bit of birch ply. Is this birch ply or just some ply going on here? Um, I can always do a bit of, oh, I've got a little bit of uh, hardwood going on right here as well. Let's try the hardwood first and foremost. And let's get to it. Straight down, nice and easy on the hardwood. And hopefully you can see that on camera, but we've got a little bit of breakout on the back there, but it's actually a very, very thin blade. It's got a very thin kerf, which is, uh, which is great. Let's try it on the softwood. And if we were to pretend that we had dovetails. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to kick the camera and let's get into seeing how this cuts down that line there. Okay, I went off, off piste a little bit, so let's try a little bit harder on this one, Dean. There you go, that one has come through lovely. Yeah, so that one actually cut nice and straight and I'm by no means a, uh, a proper sawer type person, but um, if I can cut straight with this puppy, then you can as well. Right, so this is the softwood one that we just cut. Let's do a bit of plywood. <laughs> Not a problem, nice and easy, and I'll get a bit of maple as well. So right here, I've got some American hard, hard maple, and it is super hard. Cuts nice and cleanly, nice and easily. And that was on a, uh, on a cross cut. Let's go on a, uh, a rip cut as if we were doing dovetails. <laughs> Lovely, could even pop a little bit of wax on it and make that run through even more. This is the one that I literally just cut though and look how small the kerf of that blade is. So measuring the blade here, the blade itself without the kerf is coming through at 0.6 millimeters and with the kerf, let me see if I can try and get this done for you. I'm doing it real life rather than just, you know, what they say. That is the kerf comes out to be about 0.85. So it's still a very, very thin blade for all of your uh, um, dovetailing needs. The other thing is the hang on it is very, um, it's not a 45 degree, it's not too steep. And so that means that when you're starting dovetails or starting at the top there, it's a nice and easy action to get things going. I should probably point out, I'll pop an affiliate link down in the description to Amazon if you want to grab one of these yourself. It doesn't mean that you pay any more, but it just means that the channel gets, you know, a fraction of a penny to, uh, to, to come back to it, which all helps. So yeah, it's not from the manufacturer or anything like that. It's an Amazon thing. Anyone can do it. But if you use the link, it supports the channel a bit. Thank you. So not everything can be roses and rainbows. So what is wrong with this saw? Well, like I said earlier on, the handle is fairly generic. I prefer, I would have preferred a pistol grip. It didn't need quite this much meat. I did ask them, I sent them an email to ask them if this is the same handle they use on their tenon saw and they never got back to me. So I don't know the answer to that one. Um, but they did get back to me on a couple of emails previously. So I think there are, how many do you say? I think there are like 16 people working in the in footprint. And that means that they're all hands on deck the whole time. So they're operating forges. They're about to generate, so they're about to get another forge and CNC for the end of this year, I believe. Um, and so, you know, it might take a while to get a response. Don't try and contact them on Instagram and all that sort of stuff. They very rarely use it. So 
Don't do any of that business. But the saw itself, so the handle, generic would like to see a pistol grip. It was covered in a kind of a, 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 a wax maybe or something. I don't know what it was when I first got it, but it looked like it had a big bubble on the end of it because it was it was this thick stuff. And I'll put a picture up if I can find it. I know I took some at the time, but um, it, uh, it needed some cleaning off, which was fine. I mean, it, I just used a rag and, and, uh, and that was that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it just meant that it needed a little something. Now then, the teeth are sharpened by machine rather than hand sharpened and set. So they're sharpened and set by machine. Um, like I said, the spine is not polished or anything like that. So it's just a little bit of refinement it doesn't have and the generic handle. That being said, it is only 66 pounds and we've got a bunch more saws to look at in the future, which are far more expensive than this. And uh, and so, yeah, the, it, it, the, I think this is a good value for money saw. I certainly would like to try their, uh, their tenon saw, which I think is about 15 TPI. I'd love to try that. Um, but that's it. So this is the footprint saw. Um, footprint made in Britain, made in Sheffield, all forged here in the UK. And uh, and I think it's worth supporting a UK, small UK business that's carrying on the legacy of what's always happened in Sheffield and that's steel production and tool production. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you very, very soon.